There's a buzzword we've all been hearing throughout this pandemic, and that is the need for all of us to adapt. Our personal lives, businesses, relationships, families, the schools. And we're learning and we're seeing that those that are unable to adapt may in fact not make it through. So what does it mean to adapt? Why are some people better at it than others? And how do we achieve successful adaptation? Let's take a look at this week's Torah portion. Yitzhak and Rivka have two sons, Yaakov and Esau. Before Yitzhak passes away, he wants to pass on the family blessings of the future of the Jewish people to his son Esau. But Rivka says, no, those blessings belong to our son Yaakov. So she tells Yaakov, hurry, I'm going to prepare a meal for your father, and I want you to wear Esau's clothing, go into your father, trick him, and receive those blessings. When Yaakov enters his father's room, Yitzhak senses something is strange. So he calls over his son to feel him, and then he makes the famous observation. Hakol kol Yaakov. The voice sounds like the voice of my son Yaakov. But the hands feel like the hands of my son Esau. What a strange thing to put these two people together in one sentence when they couldn't be more different from each other. Yaakov is the honest, upstanding, righteous, generous person. Esau is the hunter, the killer, liar, cheater. And yet Yaakov realizes that here lies the secret to being able to receive those blessings and to ensure the future of the Jewish people. You see, there are two components to everything in life. There's the mission statement, and then there's the operations department. The mission statement defines who you truly are. What do you believe in? What do you stand for? What are your overarching goals? The operations department defines the methods, the tools, the products through which you attempt to implement the goals of your mission statement. Now, here's the difference between the two. You should always be married and fully committed to your mission statement. If it's true and if it's real, then it must always remain the same, never change, no matter the threat or the challenge. But you should never be married or fully committed to your operations department. It's just the tool, the product, where you're trying to implement the goals of your mission. Sometimes those tools and products will become outdated or no longer relevant. And then you should always be open and flexible to change the way you do things because there may in fact be a better way to do things and to succeed in your mission. Kol Yaakov, the voice of Yaakov represents the mission statement of the Jewish people. Yedei Esav, the hands of Esav represent the operations department of the Jewish people. Yaakov understands as follows. On the one hand, in order for the Jewish people to survive, we must remain fully committed to our mission statements, no matter the challenges that come our way. Our mission is to live righteous, holy, generous lives, to be a light unto the rest of the nations of the world, and to always try to make this world into a better, holier, more peaceful place. But Yaakov also realizes that we must never be committed and always be flexible in our operations department. Jewish people throughout their history are going to live in different countries, cultures, time periods. We have to always learn to adapt and change the way we do things, the languages that we speak, how we dress, in order to find better ways, more successful ways to achieve our goals. So if you want to learn how to adapt better, you should do this exercise of trying to figure out which things lie in the realm of your mission statement, and those must never change, but which things lie in the realm of your operations department, and those you should always be willing to change in order to do it better. As Albert Einstein once said, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, but expecting different results. Or as another great scholar once said, always be flexible to change in the face of novelty, and always be strong to face adversity. Shabbat Shalom.